Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Tuesday, October 26th. The first reading for the Daily Mass comes to us from the 8th chapter of St. Paul's letter to the Romans. It reads, Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present age are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation for the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to fertility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to the corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. For we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we await for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we are saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. This particular passage from the letter to the Romans is chosen frequently for funeral masses. The entire reading could be summarized by its focus on hope that comes from the promise of eternal life. But many people actually focus on the first line of the passage when St. Paul tells the community in Rome that I consider the sufferings of this present age are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. And these words of St. Paul have a way of consoling grieving families, especially those who have witnessed their deceased loved ones go through a tremendous amount in their final days here on earth. But there's also another line in this passage that I also point out to people because of its importance in how we are to live in this world. And it is the final line of the passage. It reads, But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. St. Paul in this one line is reinforcing a constant fact of our lives that a person's hope cannot be rooted in what we experience in this world. The sins of this world and the consequences of sin in this world fill our lives with difficulties, frustrations, and challenges. And all these experiences can truly cause us to lose hope. And furthermore, it should be noted that many people wrestle with the fact that some people seemingly are more blessed than others. And this reality also challenges people to have hope in this world. So we are called by faith to have a hope that is rooted not in the things of this world, but in the hope of the resurrection and the glory of heaven. And when our hearts and our minds are motivated by the hope that comes from the promises of eternal life, we truly are not weighed down by the experiences of this world. Yes, we are affected by the world, and we will not be able to completely avoid it. But as St. Paul says, the sufferings of this present age are nothing compared with the glory to be revealed. So we have to let this knowledge, we have to let this truth guide and inspire our lives. And if we don't, brothers and sisters, many of us will only find despair in this world. Because again, the world is fleeting. It's transitory. It's prone to sin. It cannot fulfill our deepest desires. So as St. Paul tells the community in Rome in today's reading, we too need to live in the hope and expectation that comes from eternal life. So let us live our lives in such a way that we focus on the great gift of eternal life. And if we do so, brothers and sisters, we will be transformed by this reality. Our lives will truly set us apart because, again, we're not focused on this world, but focused on the blessings, gifts, 
and amazing experiences that are in store for those who follow Christ and enter into eternal life. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.